two additional stories coming out of Battleground BC, one on the brevity of the House's sitting this session. The BC legislature had no fall sitting in 2012, and the current session just wrapped was only 19 days, a record low. Also, new ethnic vote allegations against the Christie Clark government. An Indian company producing a Bollywood award show in Vancouver says a negotiating team Clark was a part of tried to push the company to hold the awards show not in June as intended, but prior to the May election. 24 Hours Vancouver columnist Bill Thielman joins us on this now. So Bill, what do you make of this, this shortest ever legislature sitting? Nice work if you can get it, Anthony. Look, this is an embarrassment. The BC Liberal government itself in a previous incarnation before Christy Clark scheduled fall and spring sessions to be fixed. So there would always be a session. They've canceled the fall session. They canceled the fall session the year before that. So in total, since the session wrapped up last, uh, last year in May, June, they have sat for 19 days. Uh, this is just a ridiculous situation. And obviously the other part of it is, as we know, you can't really do much in government that's new or interesting unless you have legislation. They obviously don't have anything to do. Yeah, Bill, I, I mean, what, what should the voters really think of the totality of all these stories? The ethnic gate scandal, the fact they're spending so much time doing what seems to be campaigning, they're hardly in the legislature. It seems like people are, are just not being well served right now. I think that's what the polls have actually shown, Anthony. We saw a poll that came out from Ipsos this week, 51% uh, for the NDP, it's a record high for them, and 32% uh, for the BC Liberals under Christy Clark. The, the talk shows, radio talk shows here are running polls, should Christy Clark resign, all this sort of stuff. It's a pretty damning situation. And then the news story, as you mentioned in your introduction, was that the, the Bollywood Film Awards and sort of Oscars of India uh, the Clark government was trying to get them moved up and when they failed to get them moved up to before the election they did a deal with the Times of India to create a new Bollywood awards a second round of Bollywood awards that'll happen before the election and they're spending millions of dollars on that as well so you know the the ethnic gate as we're calling it out here ethnic gate finger tentacles just go further and further and this is clearly going to be a very controversial award show now, Bill, help me do the math here a bit, because it, it, if I recall correctly, Christy Clark was saying, well, I had nothing to do with this Kim Hackstad document. I was not CC'd on it. I did not write it. Uh, we, we said in the clip we showed there she was in the house saying, I haven't denied there was a problem. And yet this, this story about the Times of India and then the Bollywood award show suggests that she was present for this. So it would suggest that, yes, she is a part of some of this, this ethnic pandering uh, with, with public tax dollars. Is that correct math on my part? I think you're correct and you know I, pretty clear let's take the premier at her word that she didn't see the particular memo in question but she obviously had discussions Kim Hack said has been her aide for years and years one of her close confidants and friends uh, and there's no question that Christy Clark and Kim Hack said must have discussed multiculturalism at some level and I, I think you know all the fingers are pointing to the premier's office there's still people working in the premier's office that were on the ethnic outreach memo a file list that everyone has seen and they're still working there today so you know I, I think this one is just really from electoral terms it's disastrous for the liberals as it continues along now bill there is also a report from the auditor general about constituency office money used by the ndp to support asian outreach activities uh stepping back from from the parties in general obviously vancouver has a has a number of strong ethnic communities is this really something new christy clark's doing or is it something all government is doing and they're, they're going to have to change their ways well, I think uh, it's interesting because the Auditor General's draft report was leaked and then when the actual report came out, it was seen that he had actually uh, been satisfied with the answer from the NDP. So that one sort of got put to bed. It was a, a little bit of a, an attempt to tit for tat by the Liberals, but it didn't work out too well for them. And the real thing is the line was crossed clearly. Even the, prim the Premier's own Deputy Minister made it very clear there were serious violations of the Public Service Act. So it's one thing to be political and promote your minister in the uh, multicultural communities, and that's obviously things that everybody does. But when you start talking about secret emails and collecting data and passing it on to the Liberal Party, and we saw John Horgan in the House saying that there was the Liberal Party was to come closer with government and caucus, that sort of stuff crosses the line, I think, in any jurisdiction whatsoever. And that's why they're in trouble. That's why this is a scandal and not just a ho-hum. Bill, one more question. We've got two months until the next election. Is it possible that Christy Clark and her team can change the narrative, make it about something else, or is this going to be the predominant sticking point up until May 14th? I don't know that the ethnic gate controversy will be a sticking point, but the problem the Premier's got is before this, she was way behind the polls. People are sort of tired of the government. Uh, they haven't, haven't seemed to be able to change the channel on their bad record and their bad numbers. 
And it would certainly take uh, something fairly miraculous politically for Premier Clark to come out of this one. The, the thinking around here, not just mine, but most political observers, is that they're heading to a, a pretty disastrous electoral result on May the 14th. And uh, as I say, it would take quite a, quite a miracle to turn that around. All right. Thanks as always, Bill. Thanks.